this episode of The Boss Lady. I was working in a bank. You meet me, I'm in a power suit, I look nice. But inside I was struggling because I would have to then go to toy market to buy second-hand bras. The concept of entrepreneurship is finding a gap and fill that gap with an idea. It's not something you can go discussing with everybody that I'm struggling, I can't find a bra, <laughs> I have backaches. I would wear some bras and they would actually cut me. Nobody could have done this more than today's boss lady. A few years later, I, I actually didn't leave my job. I got retrenched and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I have a 15 inch difference between what? this area and the fuller part. So that's why I'm a 36 K cup. Yeah, so for you, you're a three inch difference. For me, I'm a 15 inch difference. But I was scared. I was scared. Whose personal need led her to start her business. Why can't you be the one to, to bring that, to start something yeah, in Kenya? Yeah. I told him, no, it's not for me. I can't afford it. Hi, my name is Wendy Wawero. I'm the founder of My Curves Kenya. We are a lingerie uh, store located at Two Rivers and Sarit. And uh, we sell everything, bras, underwear, shapewear, and we endeavor to make sure that women who are fuller busted feel confident, uh, feel good about themselves, and say that they love their curves. And this is Boss Lady. Being big and busty, from her preteen years to now a grown-up woman, Wendy struggled most of her life at trying to get the right size bra. For a long time, her only options were either waiting for people to travel, uh, the second-hand market, or hand-me-downs. This led her to have self-confidence issues, dressing in baggy clothes to camouflage her bust and body in general, which gave her a bad posture and bark aches. That was the genesis of her business idea, however, she did not start here. That was the genesis of her business idea, however, she did not start here. Her debut in the corporate world was in July 2005 to July 2007 at the NIC Bank Limited, where she was a sales and product administrator with a pay of about 10,000 with other sales commissions. She later went to Standard Chartered Bank from 2007 to 2010, holding various roles in the corporate and sales and marketing relationship executive from November 2010 to November 2013. She worked at Deacon's Canyon Limited as the general manager of True Words and the identity brand. Sadly, during this time on her maternity leave, she got retrenched. It was this gap that made way to my curves. In February 2017, on Valentine's Day, she opened the fast store at Two Rivers Mall. Just like her many women's idea to entrepreneurship, all started with a need that needed to be filled. So let's take you back to the history of women in entrepreneurship. In the beginning of the 20th century, feminism finally began to make real changes in the female working climate. Prior to this time, women owned businesses only if they were in dire straits, those without husbands who did not want to become social burdens. These businesses mostly included brothels, taverns, and alehouses. At the turn of the century, progressive ideals gave rise to a social sphere that was much more conducive for female business owners. In the early 1900s, female entrepreneurs such as Madame C.J. Walker, Coco Chanel, Olive Ann Beach and Ma Parkins got their start. These powerful women established their own brands and fought tooth and nail for success in the face of discrimination, unfair wedges and stigmas plaguing female business owners. The 21st century has seen an upsurge in women entrepreneurs, however, Female business owners still face wage and gender discrimination and fewer opportunities than their male counterparts do. Still, women are making major impacts in the media, business, politics and more. Currently, we have a myriad of powerful successful female entrepreneurs, our boss lady being one of them. And this is what you need to know about Wendy Karira Waweru.
Today is all about that comfort, ladies. Wendy knows all too well how we all need that comfort and it leads to confidence. But how did she start? I actually started thinking about this in uh, 2012. And um, it started with my personal frustration. And uh, I'm, I was working in a bank. You meet me, I'm in a power suit, I look nice. But inside I was struggling because I would have to then go to toy market to buy second-hand bras and when I go to toy I cannot quite figure out what size I was because I'm full of busted so I would actually end up wearing two, or three, two bras inside and a very tight camisole to keep me together looking proper under my suit yeah and you see, you, it's not something you can go discussing with everybody that I'm struggling, I can't find a bra, <laughs> I have back aches. My, I, I, I'd wear some bras and they would actually cut me. So you'll find the ladies who will actually have cuts. And I got to the point I even have a dent. So if you look at my shoulder blade, it actually curves in because I'd wear very tight bras, very, either it's too loose, too tight, too something. It's just not holding you properly. Yeah, so I would really, really struggle. And when I talk to other ladies, they would say the same thing. Yeah, they're like, I'm struggling. You either have to look for somebody who's traveling or you know somebody who is going to send it to you or you just secondhand. Yeah. It has to come from outside or you have to go to toy. Thank you. Yeah. 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 yeah, so at the time, if you have no one traveling, you don't know relatives, you just want a nice bra. It's so complicated and I couldn't understand. Um, we're here working and we're all here struggling with bra issues. If you're full of busted, it's even worse. And we started getting into the conversation with a few friends. And you know how you joke and you're in the office, you're like, yeah, we need to find a side hustle. We even discussed how we're going to create a, this alleged business plan and we're like, somebody should do it. And um, a few years later, I, I actually, didn't leave my job I got retrenched oh. and I was like oh my gosh what am I going to do so in the process of trying to think let me get another job let me apply let me do and I went back to the story of I've always said I want to go back into business I, I, I was in business a while back and I, I went into employment this is my time yeah but I was scared I was scared. I, I didn't want to be the one. You know, it's easier to pass the buck. How did she get past her fear of starting her business? But because I had done quite a bit of research, I decided to, um, to, to reach out to the com one of the companies. Believe it or not, one the company that we stock, Panache, I would go to Mutumba and keep getting that same brand. Panache. Panache. <laughs> Every time I would get the same bra, we call it the tango bra, and I would get it in different colors. And I'd be like, which bra company is this? Yeah, so I Googled them and I wrote to them and I told them the struggles that we're having here. And the guy, his name is Lee, just tells me, look, why can't you be the one to, to bring that, to start something yeah, in Kenya? Yeah. I told him, no, it's not for me. I can't afford it. It's for, I don't know who. And he's like, no, is there a need or not? And I was like, there's a need, but I don't have that kind of money. I, I don't have the capacity. I don't know how to even go into that business. Yeah. yeah. yeah? But I was fortunate enough. I used to work at um, a retail company and I had some experience. I'd left banking, went into the retail company for uh, three years. And then now that's when I transitioned now into business. So I actually sat on this idea for about three years before I got the confidence to actually start it out yeah and when we finally started it out where did we um, where and when did we start so we've launched our first store at uh, two rivers I thank God two rivers gave me an opportunity new brand nobody knows it um, I actually had to come up with a name and the name comes from I love my curves actually when I was trying to register the names I discovered Kenyans are very innovative all the names are taken the ones you could think of so I had to come up with something myself and for me what I was looking for is that you know when you're going through a period where you're wearing bad bras your self-esteem gets a dent eh? so you feel it's tiring yes the whole time you're like this yeah you're, you're, cautious, you're adjusting you just you're, you're, adjusting, you're unsure you're, you're not sure. sure which level yeah. you're at you can't even sit in a meeting properly I know. it's so uncomfortable yeah. or you go somewhere and some is popping out there you go yeah in the 
and the pins. Yes. Yeah. Too yeah. Much and then of course my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you're going through the period like for me I got kids when I was very young. So um going through that you're a new mom, you can't get a bra, you're bigger so you're not able to even get a nursing bra. Like I don't have, I have never owned a nursing bra. By the time I started this this business I don't I had never bought a nursing bra because I could not get my size. Yeah, and this is five kids later, so you can imagine. Yes, yeah. so I, was, I was going to say it, but it's good that you said it yourself. It's something that we're going to come back and talk yeah, about. Yeah, how you I have never worn a nursing bra. Yeah, because I could not get my size, and there was nothing available in the market. All right, and we're going to talk about that in just a bit. Yeah. So, two of us accepted you. Yes, and you just started off shopping to us. How many years ago was this? Um, that was in 2017. We actually started on Valentine's Day on the 14th of February. Um, so that's when we started the Two Rivers uh, store and this one has come in this year in May. We um, actually started at the end of May. So we are newbies in, in the Sarit uh, Centre Mall and it's been an amazing journey. I, and I think I'll go back to the word I, I love my curves because for us what keeps us going and what we love is women come in and they find a bra that fits them and they feel so good and they we understand each other we are understanding the struggle that you're having the kind of bra that makes you feel good about yourself and you're able to get it and she's able to walk out confidently knowing i am supported yeah i love my curves my yeah you you, you don't even have to ever think about backache and if i'm wearing you can choose matching not matching whatever colors you want it's no longer you're confined to because you are bigger because you're curvier the only available bra for you is black yeah <laughs> or a beige you know and that it's a beige that's not your color so you feel <laughs> oh my god yeah you can't just wear yes. it in any outfit <laughs> yes you can wear yes even a strapless bra you know <laughs> you you go into a store and guys are like no no <laughs> your size no <laughs> Later on, we'll get to see how to measure for the right bra size. On that note, we take a short break, but when we come back, we take a walk around and more secrets are spilled. Mm -hmm.